the July 2022 release candidate for R Factor 2 is available now. Changes of this scale will alter the way the cars and tracks behave in the simulation, so let's take a look at some key highlights from this new build. Real Road 2.0 in this new feature, track temperatures can be affected by a number of variables, such as time of day, cloud cover, ambient temperatures, geographical location of the circuit, and the circulation of other cars warming the tarmac. Track temperatures will initialize at the beginning of a session based on the weather conditions set by the player and will dynamically change over the course of track running. The Track Limit System for this release candidate build, we have completely reworked the way track limit infringements are calculated within the system, with the aim to make a fairer and more robust system for all users. With this new build, we have developed functionality that allows our users to set three types of track limit settings, none, default and strict. These settings can be applied to both single player and also on a multiplayer server. Anti-lock brakes and traction control. Another sizable development that will come on stream as part of this release candidate build is the introduction of a major revision to our ABS and traction control simulation. For the July RC build, we have substantially reworked these two important electronic features of modern race cars, significantly expanding the behavioural characteristics in line with their real-world counterparts and adding a wealth of feature enrichment functionality. These new features form the main highlights of the July 2022 release candidate build of R Factor 2. Other improvements to the course simulation experience have been brought forward into this build ahead of the main public release, so make sure to check out the Studio 397 website for full details of the latest changes and improvements ahead of the full release scheduled for early August.